We have a really cute puppy here who, when gets a little bit older, will have a pretty important job to do at Wimbledon. At the moment, he's just having fun with the Wimbledon tennis balls. I um, think he's found from around the ground this morning. But Jane, you're a police constable. Come in over this way. Uh, he's more than just a dog, isn't he? Like I mentioned, he's going to have an important job when he gets a little bit older. Can you just tell us about that? <laughs> he's going to be a search dog um, and they will just search the perimeter and inside buildings, uh, the courts, um, to ensure that there's nothing untoward being left around and uh, that the members of the public can enjoy their day. Absolutely, and uh, that's not your dog. If you can turn around there, that's Rick's dog. That's Chase and Rick having a little bit of a playtime down there. But Jane, you have actually been out and about this morning with your own sniffer dog, yes. who's uh, having a well-deserved break, I think, at the moment. Yeah, my dog's called Pip. He's uh, two years old. It's his first time at Wimbledon. Um, we started searching at six o'clock this morning. Um, we did quite a bit of the buildings and the broadcasting centre. Um, and we finished about half past nine. So he's, he's taken a rest <laughs> in a vehicle at the moment. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, as a police officer, is this part and parcel of one of your jobs to dog handle? Yes, I'm now with the um, dog support unit. Um, there's different areas within the dog support unit, but we're do we just do um, exclusive searching. Um, for events like this. And how many police officers uh, you know, are involved with dog handling? Um, there was about 33,000 metropolitan police mm. officers um, and there's 50 search dog handlers in the area that we work. So a really small number of you who do it? Yes, yeah, very small number. And just talk us through how the dogs get trained for this job. Um, the dogs do a 10-week training, so once they're about a year old they go um, a very intensive 10 weeks to 12 weeks um, learning the different elements of uh, the search that we require them to do um, and once they pass that and the handler passes because it's a test for the handler as well as the dog um, then they go out onto the streets of London. Gosh I'm gonna go turn around here and talk to Rick and Chase because Rick how's the training going then? Jane just mentioned that it's uh, your job as well as Chase's job to be trained how's it going? Well, that's it. I mean, Chase is only six months old, so we're um, just environmentally friendly. Just get him out, so every, everywhere's happy for him. Um, at the moment, he's doing really well. What kind of things does he have to do in training? Well, at the moment, as a pup, mm. it's just getting out there and getting amongst it. So, so nothing shocks him. When we come to training, different buildings, different types of environment, he's happy to go in there. But he's uh, obviously loving the tennis balls right now. Is that quite challenging, being at Wimbledon with so many tennis balls? Yes, um, lucky enough we, we've not been in too many areas, but he's, oh, he's, he very, he's very unsocial when it comes to the tennis ball. He'll just stare at that and not, not want strokes or anything, any fuss. And how long do you think it'll take them for him to get fully trained up? Well, he's on a course, I think at the end of January, February, mm -hmm. and it'll be, a, like I say, a 10-week course. And then how long will he be working for as a, as a sniffer dog? Um, they work till about eight, eight, eight and a half years. Oh, wow, gosh. And then after that, does he become your pet or what, what does he then go into doing? Yeah, I mean, he's lived with me, they, they're kenneled in my back garden, so for eight years he's been my partner, so you can't really give him up. The wife and family <laughs> would not be happy if I gave him up. And what kind of dogs make great sniffer dogs? It's from the uh, gun dog breed, so they've bred all their, all their life to uh, go, out, go out and find things and work all day long. And he's the worst pet you bet you'll have because he want to chew things, want to be busy all the time. Well. So. <laughs> As you can see, he's just raced off over there. I think Chase has got a little bit more training to do until he's ready to make the grounds at Wimbledon safe, but we might see him back here next year with any luck because he'll pass all his training. Thank you very much, Rick and Jane. And of course, Chase, you're gonna come and give me a little cuddle. No, no, <laughs> yes he is. He's so, so, so cute. Here you go. And, <gasps> tennis ball. Ah!